Question 30. A function is shown f of x equals 2 fifths times x minus 25, all of that squared, plus 13. What is the range of the function? Okay, so I need to find the range. I'm going to show you how to do this one with the calculator using your TI and Spire. So go ahead and grab your calculator and let's begin. Okay, so push on. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and enter into the calculator. We're going to push 1. No. And then we're going to need to go to the graph for this one because I need to see the range. So let's go ahead and go to 2. Okay, and we're going to put that in the calculator. Exactly the same. So I'm going to do control, divide, 2, then go down, 5, go to the right, open your parentheses, and I'm going to do x minus 25, close your parentheses, I'm going to put the squared, which is right over here, and then plus 13, and then you're going to go ahead and push enter. Now, I can't see anything, and why? Because I have pretty big numbers. This graph here only goes to about 7 and 10, so I'm going to need to zoom out. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Go ahead and push menu, and look for where it says zoom. It says zoom on the number 4, so I'm going to go ahead and push 4. And I want to zoom out, which is the number four. Go ahead and push four. And then push enter until you see the graph. So enter, I see nothing. Let me go ahead and push enter again. There we go, I see something. And it looks kind of like this. Okay, so let me go ahead and draw it. Looks kind of like this. Let's go ahead and find the vertex of that. So that is the center point. I need to find the vertex. And how you do that with the calculator is again, you're gonna push menu and I want to analyze the graph, okay? So I want to learn more about the graph. So that would be number six. And to find the vertex, you actually need to find the minimum or the maximum. So this, is that a minimum or a maximum? So let me go ahead and explain to you guys. So a minimum looks like this and a maximum looks like this. Okay, so clearly this is a minimum. Now, the way I like to remember it is maximum. Think about it like a mountain. A maximum is really big. So there's a mountain. There's a really tall point on the top. So this is mountain. And then minimum, I like to think of it, of it like it's really small. So it's like a hole and it goes kind of down. It's a very small in there. Okay, so this is minimum. So we're going to go ahead and select minimum, which is the number two. Now, they said here lower bound. Lower means the smaller number, so that's going to be to the left of the graph. So go ahead and go to the left of the graph, push enter. And now they said upper. Upper means bigger, so we're going to go ahead and color the graph over here and push enter. And there it is. That is my vertex. It's 25, 13. Okay? So this is going to be my x and this is going to be my y. So let's go ahead and talk about range. Okay, so range is the list of y values. Okay, so range is y. And remember domain, domain is x. But I don't want domain. I only, I only want range. So I don't want the x, okay? I'm looking only for the y, which is the range. So I'm going to be using the number 13. Okay, and how you would do this is for the range, you it's y. So I'm going to go ahead and write y. You're going to look at the arrows, okay? Look at the arrows here. Okay, they are going up, okay? So if they are up, up means big, okay? So big is greater or less, okay? Big is greater. This is greater right over here. And how you can remember is you can do the little hand thing. Which one makes an L? L is this one. This is the opposite of L. That's not an L. This is L, this is for less than, and then the other one will be for greater than. That's how I like to remember it. So Y is greater than, and it's greater because the arrows are up. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and put a line because there is a point here. Okay, so it's Y is greater than or equal to, and then you're going to put the number for Y. Which one was Y? 13. So this one is my answer. All real numbers greater than or equal to 13. Perfect. So my answer is D. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. See you next time.